story time. If you could, hit that thumbs up to show me that you like this video and you are ready to hear a story. Well, here it goes. I met a barbershop distributor. That's a job. This is a person that connects barbershops with products like shampoo, conditioner, beard products. And I was telling this guy about my channel and the beard products that I know and love, and he aggressively stopped me. He is pretty kind of like braggadocious and, and very confident and out there. And he was like, oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. I have the most premium beard oil on the market. The best beard products you could ever have. And I was like, ooh, tell me more. I want to hear about this. And he told me it is this product right here. And I believe it goes by the name 1821 Man Made. Now, I only say that because there's a lot going on in this label. There's a US in there. There's a couple of other things going on. But I'm pretty sure that's what they go by. It is the 1821 Man Made. Now, I had kind of heard of this company. It was like on my peripheral memory a little bit. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh yeah, that's the one with the really cool container. I don't know if they're going for like an oil container look or what it is, but I was like, that's pretty snazzy. I like the look of that. I respect originality. I respect innovation and doing something different. And then I opened it once I got this bottle and I liked it even more. I was like, oh sweet, it's got a little orifice reducer, Euro dropper, uh, just something in here that helps out the dispensing. I'm not exactly sure what to call that one because it's a little bit different than I'm used to, but I was glad because I'm not a big fan of the open pour. I can do it, but I just don't love it. So I started out, I was like, okay, cool. Maybe, maybe this guy is on to something and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna make a video on it because this guy must be really good at his job and a lot of other distributors or their margins are just really good because this product is in a lot of barber shops. So I was like, people are going to search for this video. They're going to try it. They're going to make up their own mind. Let me give my thoughts for maybe somebody went in for a cut beard trim. And then this was pitched to them and they're like, let me research and I'll come back. I'm going to give you my information now that I know the ingredients and I've tried it in my beard. This product for me guys is absolute garbage in my experience. Now I don't say that lightly. I don't even like to say that but I don't know another way to convey the message of my experience with this product. And it may have to do with this guy being a professional pusher of products to barbershops telling me it's the best, it's premium. And I had a good first impression on the, the branding, the packaging, all that. And then it was just down here. My experience was really, really bad from the ingredients to the way that it made my beard feel and the way that it made my beard look. So let's dive in. The ingredients, there's two main ones that really stood out to me. One of them is a silicone alternative. Okay, so they can say it's silicone free, but they found one that's pretty dang similar to it. Okay, all right, got it. Okay, the next one is a film forming agent and a silicone replacement. <laughs> I, I can't make this stuff up, guys. And I do want to point out something real quick here too. Great labeling, great packaging. But one thing that was a little suspicious to me, at least my first instincts when I was looking at this, is I couldn't really find the ingredients. I was like, okay, it's on the side. They are very difficult to read. I have great vision, no contacts, no glasses. And a lot of companies are very proud of their ingredients. They make them prominent, they make them easy to read. That can even be a selling point of them. I'll just let you guys see here to see what I'm talking about. These ingredients are in very, very small text. And there's, I don't know if you want to call it like decorations or what the heck it is, but there's little black spots all over as part of like the branding, as part of like the background. But those black spots blur into the very tiny letters that make up the ingredients. And it's very difficult to read these. And they're not the easiest to find online. You guys will find that some companies kind of make it a little bit more difficult to find the ingredients, at least in my experience. And these ones are not conducive to what I believe, me personally, should be in a beard oil. But I was gonna give it a try, right? I got the, smi the spiced vanilla, because I like vanilla. Don't really like the scent. I guess I underestimated the spiced part of this, but that's subjective. That's personal preference. I can guarantee there are many of you that love this scent out there. But I wanted to try. I wanted to be positive, right? I really take pride in being professional and being positive. And then you're like, whoa, 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 Dan, you called this garbage. I know. <laughs> I have to be real, though. I have to absolutely break it down the way that it 
that I want to. And again, I'm careful. I've been sued over this stuff. Yes, many of you know this story, but I've been sued over a negative review. I won. I was fine. It's an amazing thing to have an Ivy League lawyer uh, sister in the family. So it wasn't an issue, but I'm still conscious of it. And I still stand by saying my experience with this oil was garbage. That silicone alternative, that, fo- that film forming agent silicone replacement, do exactly what you think they would. They just sit on the outside of your beard. This oil did not absorb into my beard. It did not go into the hair. It did not go into the skin. It left it shiny. It left it greasy. And I had some irritation. There's kind of a theme in, for me, these lower level, low quality products. They're either going to dry out immediately and leave your beard itchy and really, really dry like a bird's nest. Or they're going to sit on your beard. They're not going to absorb. You still are probably going to have some itchiness, but you're going to light up like a disco ball. And it's just not something that I think is good for the health of your beard. I don't think that this added any health benefits to my beard. No nourishment. I didn't like the styling of it. I didn't like the feel of it. Nothing. So it's not a good experience other than this looks really cool on a beard shelf. This looks like if it was in a barbershop and I was a man getting a beard trim, I would say, yeah, give me some of that right there. Great job on that one. Kudos on the marketing. But the experience, absolutely terrible for me. And I wish it wasn't, guys. I wish it wasn't. I wish I had more. If you guys know, I have a video that's in the last couple of months that's the top four budget beard oils out there from Honest Amish to Goodfellows to Bulldog. There's there's good options out there, you guys. Good options that are in stores, that are in barbershops. This, unfortunately, is not one of them for me. Question for you guys out there. Have you tried this? Do you have any experience with this company? Please let me know. Have you seen it in a barbershop? And then you read the ingredients and you're like, no way, Jose. Or is this the first time that you have heard of this? I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts. And especially if you have any experiences out there. Sorry to to like bring it down on this one. But I do believe that these videos can help people save money and possibly save a better path for their beard. So I'm going to continue to do them. I'm going to continue to be real. I'm going to continue to share my experiences. Even if it's not fun, even if I get criticized for making these negative videos, I think that will help people out in the long run. So please, guys, always remember, first off, cut that. My name is Dan C. Bearded. If you're not subscribed here and you made it this long, please consider it. But beyond that, please stay bearded and stay positive.